Hello. Today I'm going to talk about a movie that is a, a cult film, which by the surety and title you already know what that is. But for the film's 25th anniversary, I'm talking about Fight Club, and this is the 10th anniversary Blu-ray edition. You are not special on the inside. You are a you you are not a unique or a beautiful and unique snowflake. You are the same decaying organic matter as everything else. That's just nice, isn't it? Yeah. So this movie is about a a guy uh, played by Edward Norton who's who doesn't really have a name. Um that we actually know of, uh, well, might find out later, but uh, regardless, uh, for the sake of, of the whole film, and by, by the end credits, it's called The Narrator. Edward Norton's The Narrator. Brad Pitt is Tyler Durden. And uh, basically, Norton is a label obsessed insomniac on the verge of a of going postal and he's um you know just not happy with how things are going in his life um you know he has a office job which for a car company in which sometimes he has to go out and uh look at certain accidents accidents from certain cars uh of the uh, companies and report the damage of what happened exactly and all and, uh, and then he meets uh, Brad Pitt who plays Tyler Durden uh, a scummy salesman a uh, soap salesman apologies uh, yeah, he embarks on a existential crusade that uh, takes both of them to a brutal raw heights of their manhood Helena Barton Carter uh, plays Marla uh, sexy psycho who comes between them and uh yeah but also this film also has uh meatloaf and jerry leto uh you know obviously on the back of that that's sort of the yeah. gist i guess sort of of a setup but one thing that uh norton's character does he goes to certain various support groups like testicular cancer and so many other um, uh, support groups, which he has no, no problem. He has no cancer of any kind. He has no flesh eating virus. And yet as uh, it goes along in the beginning, he uh, <clears throat> meets Marla, who goes to all these places too. And uh, yeah, they just keep uh, yeah writing into each other. And then once... He meets Tyler. They uh, start to you know, become friends, and they uh, and uh, after his uh, Norton's apartment is blown up, he uh, calls Tyler. They go and uh, have a drink, and then later he goes and, and stays with him. Basically, you know, his apartment blows up, and then he just never goes back. Uh, uh, or looks for any other place once he looks <clears throat> for, uh, um, you know, once he li starts living with Tyler. And the, the house that <laughs> they live in is uh, pretty terrible, but, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, this is a cold film, obviously. Um, and while... You know, you may uh, you might think because it's so well known, uh, no point in uh, giving spoilers. And and to an extent, that's correct. Though I have, if there was anything I have uh, found in talking about various films, no matter how old or classic a film may be, an outright classic from the get go or a cult classic like this, there are people who have never watched this, and. Um, it's a very interesting film. Um, 
I also have the book the film is based off of. Never read it, interestingly enough, um, but I have it. Also, I have A Clockwork Orange, which I've talked about, but yeah, I guess because they're right next to each other, I thought I should just show this, since I don't believe I did that before when I talked about that a few years ago. But anyway, I have the book. I have actually read A Clockwork Orange. I don't know if I ever saw that, said that before or not, but I don't know if I ever showed that before. Maybe not, but I have not read this. Um, I know there are various... I've heard the various differences between them, so there we go. Um, but, you know... This... Uh, the film, you know, obviously the now obviously it's called Fight Club, so they start Fight Club in the film, you know, and it starts with the line, "All right, I want you to hit me as hard as you can." What? I want you to hit me as hard as you can, and then Edward Norton punches Brad Pitt in the ear, and then they just start fighting each other, and then as they are fighting, some people come over and see what they're doing. And the mist just grows and grows and, you know, and of course there are rules. <clears throat> Which the book actually, at the very beginning, you know, lays out. First of rule about Fight Club is you don't talk about Fight Club. The second rule about Fight Club is you do not, you don't talk about Fight Club. Clearly making this video, I'm already ruined, uh, uh, just, uh, Terribly, terribly following the rules of Fight Club. I'm, I, I'm horrible at it. Granted, I'm not part of Fight Club, so I guess that doesn't matter. The th third rule of Fight Club, or the third rule of Fight Club is two men per fight. The fourth rule of Fight Club is one fight at a time. The fifth rule of Fight Club is no shoes, no shirts in the fight. The sixth rule of Fight Club is the fight go the fights go on as long as they have to, and also, if it's your first uh, time at Fight Club, you have to fight. Anyway, I don't know why I smile at that. That was kind of freaky and disturbing to everybody, I'm sure. But yeah, Meatloaf. Uh, he's 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 quite good. I mean, everybody is good in this. Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, Alan Bottom Carter, and Jared Leto. Uh, today, uh, yeah. This is made by David Fincher. This is the second time Brad Pitt uh, worked with uh, Fincher after Seven. Yeah, I believe this was the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alien 3 and uh, 7 and this. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, and uh, uh, later on, um, the two of them would make uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, which Fincher would be nominated for an Oscar for directing as well as Pitt for Best Actor. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is a fine film. Um, might not be for everybody, but I do think it is at least worth watching once just to see what it's <laughs> about, especially as time has gone on and, you know, there's it, people have quoted this film many times and, uh, it's, it's one of those films where every so often I actually, I like to rewatch because how enjoyable it is, or at least I find. Um, but yeah, I can definitely see how people wouldn't be fond of this. And after one viewing, might not want to watch it again. Just, I mean, there's a lot of violence, obviously, for Fight Club. And it's interesting how I was looking at the R rating. It says, disturbing and graphic depiction of violent and antisocial behavior. <clears throat> there's sexuality and violence. 
or in a language, there's already violence. Uh, violence again, just for a good measure. Yeah. I'm just making up things now, but yeah. Anyway, Fight Club's a fine film, I think. Um, cult, uh, cult favorite by many, and I'm sure by some. It's their favorite movie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You are not special. You are not a beautiful and unique snowflake. You are the same decaying organic matter as everything else. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah. Came out in 99. 25 years old. And people still talk about it, so. That's all I have to talk about uh, today. I don't want to, again, I want to quit while I'm ahead because I could go on and on and have a lot of spoilers. But for anybody who has never seen this film, uh, I would say watch it. <clears throat> um, by now, I'm sure you could probably find it for like Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, fairly cheaply. I don't know about a 4K release, so if you're into that, I, in terms of like 4K Blu-ray, I, <clears throat> I haven't heard it or seen anything, but that doesn't also mean anything. But I try to see what all <clears throat> new releases will come out or have been announced. Could be that this was announced at some point, but I, I haven't seen anything. I, I've, I've seen stuff about a 4K version of Seven, so. That's something I've seen quite a bit, but I don't know. Uh, and it could be just that Fight Club somehow kind of went by my radar and just was there. But because I guess I wasn't overtly observant, I missed it. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I hope this was it worth something. I don't know if it was. Might be just rambling on about nothing, and people are like, wow, I have absolutely no interest in ever watching that movie because this guy just talked about nothing. So, yeah. And if that's the case, that sucks, and I'm sorry, but hey, who knows, whatever. Sometimes people like people rambling on about nothing. There's actually a lot of that on the internet anyway, so. Why should I be an exception? Anyway. Hopefully that's worth whatever. What is this, about 13 minutes or so? Yeah, hopefully that was worth something, that amount of time. Anyway, hope you all have a great day and a great weekend, and I hope you all have a great week. Next week is Friday the 13th. Uh, so uh, don't go doing stuff at Crystal Lakes. Anyway, have a great day. Uh, take care. And yeah, have a great weekend and week. Bye.